Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report presented by Pepsi. I'm joined now by UNCP women's soccer head coach Lars Anderson. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Well, early in the season, over the first, curse of the first few games, the Braves have outshot their opponents but struggled to put the ball in the back of the net. What are some things you guys are working on to buck that early season trend and get some goals on the board? Well, obviously, we're uh, concerned that we uh, have not been very efficient in the final third. Uh, but I'm also an old dog. I've been around for 21 seasons and I've had the good fortune of coaching a team to a national championship game on the men's side and taking three different universities deep into the national tournament. So I understand that, and I'm not suggesting that we're happy with uh, not, not uh, producing goals early in the season, but I understand that conference play and your efficiency and your effectiveness later in the season is important, but obviously these are issues that we're addressing. Uh, I thought we were well on our way. We played very well in our two uh, preseason games, and I'm very confident in this team. We've been a little bit unfortunate. We've been a little bit unfortunate with some bounces and maybe a call or two, uh, but the soccer gods are good, and what comes around goes around, and uh, I, I believe in my coaching staff. I believe in my team, and uh, I absolutely think we're headed in the right direction. Looking at the goalkeeper position, you've got two young goalkeepers, Courtney Allman and Gina Ryan. So far, both have seen playing time and have had some relative success. Should we continue to see a rotation at the keeper position, or are you going to ultimately keep one and uh, stick with one as the main goalkeeper? Well, we're very fortunate. We have two incredibly talented keepers. I think either would be a starting keeper at most programs in the PBC, and that's a great problem to have. Uh, I want to go a couple of more games before I decide who truly is the starting goalkeeper but I, I can say this, I feel comfortable with either keeper between the posts. Both have played well uh, in, in the two uh, games that we've had so far. Uh, so again, it, it's a good problem to have, but at some point in time, we will name a starting goalkeeper. I'm not a believer in uh, the two-man rotation. Uh, you know, if you compare that to American football, the, the running into quarterbacks, uh, uh, I, I think you need to have, as we call it in Europe, a true number one. Uh, and that's going to be a difficult decision to make. I will uh, make sure that I consult uh, my assistant, Brittany Padilla, who does most of uh, the goalkeeper training. Obviously, ultimately, the decision lies with me, and I will have a decision in the next probably two weeks. Looking at the upcoming week now, the Braves have one more non-conference game against Lees McRae before conference play begins with a Wednesday matinee against Clayton State. What are the expectations for your team at this point in the season? Uh, well, Lee's McCray is a team that we have never played before. Uh, we're excited about uh, going up there. We're going to their place. We're going to Banner Elk. Uh, and it's important that we look sharp and crisp and obviously come away with a W before we go into conference play. Um, Clayton State is an uh, outstanding opponent. We were fortunate to win the game 3-1 last year. Uh, probably outsmarted them a little bit. Uh, they're a very talented team. They have uh, Maria Marty Barty, who is uh, maybe the best player in our conference playing for them uh, in her uh, senior year. Uh, so th they're, they're an incredibly tough opponent, uh, but we look forward to the challenge. Uh, as I always say, this is the best uh, D2 conference in the country, and uh, uh, you don't want to play against the best. Don't, don't come join the PBC because that's what you're going to get. You'll have four teams or four games in the books before that first home game on Wednesday, September 21st. How nice will it be to finally get some games in front of the home crowd at Varsity Grounds? <laughs> well, it'll be great to get back to Varsity Grounds. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some idiot scheduled uh, four uh, of the five uh, top conference teams, uh, uh, you know, for home games this year. Uh, uh, but no, I, I mean. Uh, uh, it's great to come back. Our facility is fantastic. The pitch is great. Uh, the fans are always awesome, uh, and we tend to play well at home. So we're excited about uh, uh, you know playing at varsity grounds. But at the same time, uh, if you can't win on the road in this conference, uh, you can ultimately uh, reach our, our goal, which is a third trip to the NCAA. So you have to be able to win at home on the road. We even play a neutral site game this year. Uh, you know, uh, you have to be able to win anywhere. Roll out the ball. It's 11 on 11. Let's get it done. Coach Lars Anderson, thanks for joining us. That's all the time we have for this week's show. For more information on UNCP athletics, including live stats and live video or audio broadcasts, visit uncpbraves.com. For our coaches and crew, I'm Cameron Songer. Until next week, go Braves.